This is Jeff Littlejohn for CKLU at the 2012 Northern Ontario Music and Film Awards Conference uh, this year, and apparently for the first time, featuring a keynote speaker, Les Stroud, perhaps better known as Survivor Man, but filmmaker and musician himself. He very kindly gave us a few minutes of his time, and uh, we're going to play that interview for you now. Okay. Let's see what I got here. All right. So, um... Les Stroud, yes. Uh, Survivor Man, an artist, yes. Mm-hmm. What's the what's the order there? Presumably, you were born an artist, but uh, when did? That's a great question. No one that's never been asked before. Um, well, the I guess the order would absolutely be artist first. You know, um, you know, there's an old thing. I've, I heard this once in a, in, a, in a movie, and I'll use it here. Survivor Man is it's what I do. It's not who I am. On the other hand, everyone knows it's also who I am. So I have to backpedal on that statement because uh, it, is, it is a huge part of me and it emanates from, from me and my love of, of adventure and nature. But artist first. I'm an artist first. It's, it's it, you know, at least I, I certainly wish I was an artist first. That's what I love. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, good, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, well then, could you tell me a bit about that? When did your personal interest in, at least filmmaking in particular, mm-hmm. when did that sort of start? Well, I think... Um, very young, because even when I was watching Jacques Cousteau, and, um, you know, I was thinking that that would be the coolest thing in the world to, to be like a camera person and to be out in the wilderness you know, filming all of this stuff. Uh, it, it was always captivating. So, and there's artistry in that. There's artistry in that kind of work. Uh, there's artistry in the, Nat, the old Nat Geo films. Uh, and I carried that through in my heart ever since I was young. And then, you know, of course, once you get into music, that's obvious artwork. But, you know, I, I think if you look at even the Survivor Man shows, I'm hoping that you will see art in that production because I, I, I always approached even a Survivor Man show as if I was a, um, a director, a film artist making a film. Do you see my Absolutely. ladder anywhere? Absolutely. And it does. It does. Thank Absolutely. Um, okay, and yeah, in fact, uh, so you know, I've seen you backtrack over ridiculous terrain to get uh, amazing shots. What, uh, how much of your survival concerns uh, are allotted, you know, to, to making the show? What's the ratio, maybe, of survival to, to filming? Because it's, a, yeah. it's amazing that you end up, maybe, with this show at the yeah. end of the week. I think, I think it works itself out quite often to being 50-50. Okay. Half the time, I'm a concentrating director, filmmaker, thinking about the next shot, the angle, how can I make this look beautiful? And half the time, forget the cameras, I just, I'm just hungry and I need food. And, and I, is there do you ever is there ever the opposite? Do you ever get carried away and go, ooh, you know, oops, I was I was taking too much time working. Yeah, on the yeah. Film. My shelter's always uh, suck because I'm 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 so busy filming making a shelter that my that I never really just concentrate solidly on just making a shelter. I've always said my shelters are terrible because they would never be. I'd never make that kind of shelter if I wasn't running a camera. Okay. I'd have time and I'd work It'd on be it. A dick. Half the time, yeah, half the time, yeah. though, I got to get those cameras going, and so, I, you know, I, I, there's sacrifices. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, also, just quick, uh, you know, film equipment, you, uh, you tell us about your knife and your coat and stuff like that, but you never understandably say what kind of equipment you're using. Is it just standard equipment that has been recommended to you, or did you, you know, do you choose this stuff yourself? Are you familiar with it? Mm-hmm. Is there no, anything uh, in particular that you like using? Well, I like using cutting edge. I like using what's newest, latest, greatest. Um, and before every production, that's my question is, okay, what's, what's, what's out there now? What's lighter, smaller, but better quality? And... Uh, uh, because size is important to me out there, and if it's, uh, it's, I need to be light and mobile. So I just try, I try to have the best, the best I can for the money I have, the budget that I have, and for being light and small. Fortunately, these days there's a lot of great gear out there that's uh, inexpensive, and but um, it's got. But I do have to shoot broadcast quality because my stuff goes to, you know, high definition broadcast. So I can't just use a simple consumer camera. It's got to be, a, you know, at the very minimum, prosumer camera we might say. But otherwise, I look for pro cameras that are inexpensive but you know, high quality. I've never been hungrier mm. after watching a TV show than Survivor Man. For some reason, it's you're genuinely satisfied. When you eat things, yeah, I, I, you must have. Has this, you know, your appreciation of food has it mm. changed as a result of being out there? Uh, yeah, absolutely, it has. Uh, my appreciation for a lot of things have changed because of being out oh, there. Sure, yeah, Definitely absolutely. going without, you know, and uh, yeah, going without food. Yeah, I've just, I've also, in a strange way, learned the fact that 
you can go without food an awful long time and be just fine. Um, so yeah, when I do get food now and it's good, I am thrilled. It's great. It's a great thing. Any in particular a favorite? Favorite food? Yeah. Oh, yeah, all of it. <laughs> oh yeah. It's good, but okay. good high quality food. It's got to be. That's what I go for now. I, yeah, it's funny if a guy for a guy who eats scorpions, if I go to a restaurant, I'm difficult to please. Sure, absolutely. No, no, no. It's understandable. This is sort of a strange one. Um, are you afraid uh, that you make survival look easy? I'm not afraid. No, okay. I think that um, at some point you have to uh, uh, allow people to have common sense and be sensible about things. Like what I've always said is, you know, you wouldn't you wouldn't go and watch an NHL hockey game having never skated before, and then go out the next day and join an NHL hockey game and tell the players not to hold back. You'd be demolished. And wilderness survival is like that's what people have to realize is that is that wilderness survival. Uh, made to look easy on TV, just like hockey looks easy or skiing looks, they make it look so easy and good. Well, that's what I've done with survival. The reality is, it's very difficult, very hard. Uh, I'm not afraid any more than an NHL hockey player is afraid that people are going to go hurt themselves playing hockey. Um, there are ways to train for survival, there are classes and courses, you start one day at a time, you learn with groups of people, just like any other uh, extreme skill. And that's what survival is. Wilderness survival is an extreme skill. You don't just jump into it blindly. Good. Thanks. All right. Oh, that's amazing. Thanks very much, Les. Thank you very much. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thanks a lot, man. Les has recently completed new episodes of Survivor Man, uh, four one-hour specials, I believe, which we can expect to see on TV very soon. You can check out lesstroud.ca for more details on that. You're listening to CKLU 96.7 FM in Sudbury.